This excitable big lug just wants to be everyone's friend. And when he spots a dog, he'll drag Monique and Josh along with him so he can spread that slobbery love. But not every dog takes kindly to 75 kilos of Newfoundland in their face. Daddy, no! It's quite scary, isn't it? Yeah, it's really dangerous. Yeah, it's a real danger. Daddy, sits. Luckily, Victoria Stilwell is on her way to help Monique and Josh get a handle on this huge handful. Hi, Victoria. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. Right. So where... Oh, I can hear him. Yep, but he's in the oh. garden. Can I meet him? Dougie. Hello. Whoa. Hi. Hello. Oh. <laughs> His issues are? Over-friendly with everything and everybody. Okay. Yeah, especially with other dogs as well. Oh, with other dogs? Yeah, he jumps at other dogs. And it's okay. quite terrifying for other owners and, and other dogs. And drags us mm. a lot. He does drag you. Yeah, towards the dog. He gets attacked a lot. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. yeah. And he, he doesn't when... really understand growling. He just carries on regardless, um, which often leads to him getting bitten in the nose. Um, oh. And that still doesn't stop him. I'm just very glad that your massive dog is a very friendly dog. Yes. Because yes. we'd be having a different conversation if he wasn't. Yeah. All right, then. Well, yeah, I would like to see a walk. Okay. Oh, walkies, Dougie. Let's go. Walkies. He kind of goes where he wants to go, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. He does forget where you are. Just wants to go and smell everything and say hi to everybody. And it's not long before friendly giant Dougie spots a potential new buddy approaching. There is another dog coming here, so I would like you to take the lead, please. Okay. Sure, sure. Because I can see what he does without him making contact with another dog, right? Yeah. And I want to make sure that that dog is safe. Yeah, so he's like keyed in. Yeah, he really. Yeah. Oh. That's probably. That's all right, we can continue. Having seen the effect Dougie's over enthusiasm is having on other people and dogs, Victoria's keen to help the family address these potentially dangerous issues. But the problem is, I just saw how you tried to pull him back. You just about were able to keep him back. I'm not surprised other dogs go for him because he's all in. It's terrifying for people and for dogs. Yeah. How is it affecting your life? Well, it's got to the point where um, if Josh is away at work, Dougie just can't be walked because I can't look after JJ properly and have an unruly dog dragging me around. I'm going to help you with some of these situations Thank and um, I have some ideas. Amazing. That sounds Thank good. You. Thank yeah. you. All right, so no time like the present. Let's get working. Victoria wants to help Money to control Dougie when they're out for a walk. He's actually pretty good walking on the lead until he sees something. Yeah. Then he surges. And I think he forgets that you're at the other end. Yeah. So we want to remind him having the lead like this is going to be much easier for you. Double leads attached to the chest as well as the back of your dog give maximum control. Instead of surging forwards when they pull, the front clip will turn their body back towards you. Ideal for large breeds like Dougie. So, we're just going to do a little bit of back and forth. When you start doing different configurations of walking with him, he has to look at you. He has to know that you're there. So, should we go like this? Come here. Good boy! You're turning away from him, like, Dougie! And then, oh my gosh, suddenly you're really unpredictable and you're turning into him because you can see him going, what are you he doing? He looks so confused. <laughs> I'd like you to work on just walking. Okay. That's it. Turn away from him. Now walk into him, figure of eight. Yes, oh, I've got to listen to you. Yes, By constantly changing direction, Dougie has to pay attention to Monique. If she practices this with him every day, when they do go out for longer walks, his focus should remain on her to find out where they're going next. Great. Turn away from him, encourage him with this your way, body. Daddy. This way, Daggy. This way, Daggy. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, this way. Time for the next step of Dougie's lead training. Victoria has taken them to a secure field and brought along a fellow trainer with her non-reactive dog, Jasper. Here we go. All I want to achieve from today is to be able to get that distance of a place where you normally walk past a dog without him pulling you over. 
So we're going to walk here and then we turn into him. He's always on our left hand side. Right. So you see what I mean? Yeah. Jasper's right there. I like to let him look at the dog and then I say, good boy. Yes, good boy. The reason why we keep moving him yep. is because if we do stay still like this, that gives him time to gear up and go, right? right? Okay. So now it's going to rely on you, Josh. Okay. We're going to walk fast. Got you. Okay. We're going to get him in the zone. Let's do it. Tell him good. Good boy. Well, Don't let him surge. Well, ducky. Don't let him surge. Hey. Lovely. This way, no, 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 no. Move a bit closer. That's it. There you go. There you go. You're really walking your dog. I know it. It's a little bit much. It's a bit close. It's quite close. Boy, well, well done. Well done. Love the praise. Work it, Josh. This way. Liddy's matching you now. Yeah, you've got to work hard. Good boy. That's it. A little bit closer now. Just here. I want you to be here. Let's do one more back. After 30 minutes of training, Victoria asks Josh to walk Dougie just one metre away from the other dog. Well done. well done. You're doing it. You are walking your dog past the other dog. Well done, Doug. How do you feel about what he's done? I feel like there's definitely progress. Yeah. Um, and just knowing that I can turn him in, you know, in, into the right direction um, is going to help massively. So let's see if we can continue like that. All okay. right. Brilliant. That yeah. sounds good. Okay. Fabulous. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.